My name is Lowell Magnuson. I'm the ATV product manager. And uh, today I'm going to be taking you through the new Sportsman 570. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about the heritage with this vehicle. So um, we launched the original Sportsman 500 <coughs> back in 1996. And since then it's been by far our most successful ATV ever. We've sold over 600,000 copies. And, uh, and every year we've made improvements to this vehicle. And uh, this year comes our biggest improvement ever uh, with the new uh, 570 engine. Um, and this uh, engine was featured originally in the, uh, <coughs> in the uh, Razor 570. The, the biggest difference with this engine, it has electronic fuel injection. So for those of you that have spent any amount of time on the Sportsman 500, you know that it's a two-hand operation to modulate the choke and turn the ignition key and a lot of times especially if it's cold the ATV will stall and you have to start the whole process over again. So finally those days are gone. This engine with the electronic fuel injection system starts up the first time and it runs flawlessly. Um, the, uh, the other thing that you'll notice is that being a Pro Star engine, uh, the engine features a dual overhead camshaft cylinder head with a four valve cylinder head. And so that means that we're bringing power. This engine in the ATV makes 44 horsepower. That's over a 20% increase from the 500 HL, and it makes it competitive with some of the ATVs that are in the big bore segment. Uh, another feature with this engine is the 560 watt output stator. Um, so that's over a 40% increase in electrical output from the 500 HL, and, uh, and it allows us to power additional electrical accessories. You know, you don't have to worry about running a winch and other hydro accessories. The other thing that it does is it allows us for the first time to be able to offer electronic power steering in the Value ATV. So this is the same electronic power steering system that's featured in the other premium off-road vehicles and we're super excited to have it available for the first time in the Value line. Um, so I've talked a lot about the engine. I want to talk about other upgrades that, uh, that we've done for this machine. Um, the first thing that I'll go through is ergonomics. So we have narrowed the midsection of the ATV by over three inches. Uh, and that makes the ergonomics more similar to our Sportsman XP. Uh, and that carries through all the way through the, the midsection of the ATV down to the floorboards, which are now larger than the, uh, than the outgoing 500 HO model. Um, and so we didn't stop there. Another area that we knew that we needed to improve was in the functionality of our racks. Um, so I'm just gonna pop this thing off uh, here. So this is our new lock and ride uh, cargo box um, uh, that uh, is manufactured by Ogeo. And I'm just gonna take this thing off and show you guys our new rack. So we came up with several different concepts that we took out and did extensive consumer research on and, uh, and we honed in on this design that's got an exposed uh, steel tubular frame and notched out sections that make it easier to secure your cargo. Uh, so this is by far the most functional and the strongest rack that we've ever put on our classic sportsman. Uh, we carried those up to the front of the, uh, the, front of the machine with the exposed steel tubes that are in the side of the rack, and we maintain six and a half gallons of semi-dry storage underneath the front rack. Also, new for this year, is there's an access panel that's located in the front storage area. Underneath that access panel is a terminal block that's got hot leads to it, makes it easier to connect a winch and other electrical accessories. So, I've talked about really what's new with the vehicle. I talked about the engine, the ergonomics and the racks. I want to talk a little bit about what hasn't changed for the vehicle. Uh, so uh, from the original 500 HO, the chassis remains largely unchanged. Uh, it still has 11 inches of ground clearance. It still has nine and a half inches of rear suspension travel. It still features our hallmark all-wheel drive system, the only true all-wheel drive system that automatically reverts back to two-wheel drive when the ATV regains traction. Um, and then, uh, so we've, uh, we've covered what, uh, what hasn't changed. 
The other thing that has made the 500HO so successful is that it is a value machine. Uh, you know, we think it's the best value uh, of any full-size ATV, and, and that's really been a hallmark of the uh, of the 500HO. So this, uh, so the ATV um, is offered at an MSRP of $64.99, and uh, and I mentioned at the beginning of my presentation that we launched the original Sportsman 500HO. Uh, or 500 rather, in 1996. Does anybody happen to remember what the price of that ATV was in 1996? All right, nobody normally gets that one. So, so the the uh, the price when we launched it, it was 64.99, the the same price as the 2014 uh, 570. So I think that really speaks to after 17 years, um, the the value that this machine brings to the industry. Hi, I'm Brett Mansell here with ATVScene.com. We're up here at Rock Run Park, just outside of Altoona, Pennsylvania, with Polaris to ride their new Sportsman 570. So the unique part about this vehicle is the price point. With that $64.99 price point, what you get is an engine that's already been tried and tested, you know, significantly inside of the Razor 570. So plenty of horsepower. Uh, you've got uh, an upgrade to a power steering model for a few hundred dollars more. Uh, the ride is super nice. Uh, we were out here on the trails and there's probably not one place on the trail where I felt like I needed more power to get through where I was at. Um, it's still a 570, so the, the wheelbase is fairly narrow. It's a shorter vehicle, which means you can just go that many more places with it. So one of the standout features of the 570 engine, not only in the Razor, but in this ATV itself, is the power band. The, the delivery of the power is real abrupt, so it's, it feels substantially more power than what it actually is. And, that's, you know, in part because of how light the vehicle is. So, you know, it, it, is, a, it is a base model. Uh, it's an entry model ATV, but the performance of a lot higher end vehicle. So at the $64.99 price point, I think they're going to sell a load of these quads. Uh, in, certain, in certain situations, you can buy two of these for the price of some other vehicles. So, you know, that's a, that's a lot more value for your dollar compared to some of the other quads on the market. Seeing that this is the entry-level quad for the Sportsman Series, there were cons some concessions made to save some money. So, in the rear, it has one caliper for brakes, um, which when we first got on it, I thought, well, that's, that's going to be an issue stopping. But as you can see in our brake test, this vehicle has no problem locking up all four tires. So, they did save some money there, probably save some weight, uh, but there appears to be no performance hit for that. So this vehicle being the base model 570, the shocks are not adjustable. So that was the only real concern I had with riding the vehicle is the ride is a little more harsh than what I would like it to be, but that could just be personal preference. Uh, people may get on it and really like the way it's set up right out of the box. Yeah, overall I think the Sportsman 570 is going to be a really, really good seller for Polaris. Uh, mostly because of the price point. I mean, you can come in at, at $64.99 and get a quad that's 100% capable on the trail. We blasted around these trails out here at Rocky Run like they were nothing. So there are no problems with this quad. You can jump in and immediately go out to the trail with your family and have a blast on it. We're at Rock Run Park near Altoona, Pennsylvania. Here to ride the new ra <laughs> Razor 570. All right. What if, uh, we what if we don't ride up anymore? Yeah. <laughs> It is not a razor. They make four withers. Polaris makes squads, is that right? 